Storage has become a challenge for manufacturing industry nowadays. It requires more than experience to develop a complex storage system with multiple points of entry and exit for storing goods. Craftsman Automation faced such a challenge when we designed and developed an efficient ASRS system capable of storing customers' products, packaging and empty pallets. Let's delve deeper into the inward process at this ASRS system. Inbound is initiated at three points and is categorized as Robotic Palletization Automated Inbound, Manual Palletized Inbound and Packaging Bin Inbound. Robotic Palletization System comprises of a six-axis robot arm that sorts triads of inward boxes from production line into pallets. The stacks are arranged in six layers with multiple matrix formations. The robotic arm can fill two pallets at a time and feed them to the conveyor. The conveyor is armed with multiple reflective, proximity and diffuse sensors that keep track of the pallet's position, location, movement and safety. The conveyor moves the pallet to the elevator lift for suitable placement in desired level as automated by WMS. Empty pallet destacker is also part of the system and dispenses a new pallet to the palletization bay once a filled pallet moves towards elevator lift. Manual palletized inward system does not bear a robotic arm. In this mechanism, a pre-filled pallet is placed directly on the conveyor through a ground lift. With the help of a BOPT or HOPT, the conveyor then pushes the pallet to the elevator lift which places it in the desired level as automated by WMS. The conveyor is equipped with same sensors as in robotic palletization inbound. Packaging bin inbound is a separate point of entry for storage. A package bin is manually placed on the conveyor that is then stored on the ground level of the ASRS for future use. The storage process is driven by a storage shuttle developed by Craftsman. Once a pallet is lifted automatically to an assigned level by WMS through an elevator lift, it moves on a buffer conveyor to the shuttle. As the pallet gets placed on the shuttle, it moves horizontally through the bay to the assigned alley. The pallet is then placed on the rack by the shuttle, based on first-in, first-out methodology, fully automated by WMS. Each pallet is placed with utmost care on the rack to safeguard the products. The retrieval process is also governed by WMS and a shuttle retrieves a pallet from the rack and places it on the shuttle. The shuttle moves the pallet through an alley to the outbound elevator lift that brings the pallet down to the ground level conveyor for outbound process. Outbound occurs at four stations at ground level depending on the type of pallet and dispatch itinerary of the plant. The outbound stations can be categorized as Robotic Depalletization Outbound, Domestic Outbound, Export Outbound and Packaging Bin Outbound. Robotic Depalletization Outbound Station consists of a six-axis robotic arm that depalletizes an incoming pallet into a conveyor for loading into the trucks. A filled pallet that comes down from the elevator lift moves through an array of conveyors and gets placed in the depalletization bay. The robot picks triads of boxes and places them in an outbound conveyor. Multiple sensors along the conveyors record data about outbound boxes before they move through a loading belt for loading into the trucks. Empty Pallet Stacker EPS, is also a part of robotic depalletization outbound station. Once a pallet is fully depalletized, it moves through a conveyor belt and is stacked in an empty pallet stacker. Once eight pallets are stacked in empty pallet stacker, the pallets move through their own system of conveyors to get stored at ground level through a storage shuttle. Pallets are fed to empty pallet destacker from the storage area. Domestic outbound is specifically built for unpalletized domestic dispatches. In this system, two pallets from elevator lift move through conveyors to get placed at outbound bays where workers manually place boxes on the outbound conveyor. The boxes are then loaded on the loading belt before heading out for truck loading. Export outbound is designed for wooden pallets meant for export of products. 
A conveyor brings a product filled pallet from the elevator lift to the outbound station. The pallet is placed on ground by a small lift, placing it with utmost caution and safety. The pallet is then loaded manually on a HOPT or VOPT by a worker and placed in dispatch bay. Packaging bin outbound is a retrieval station for packaging material at the plant. As and when required, the packaging is retrieved from ground level and placed on the outbound conveyor. It is then moved to specific packaging area on HOPT or BOPT manually. This complex ASRS has become a fundamental structure for efficient operations at the plant. With multiple points of inbound and outbound, it has provided the plant with a flexibility to plan their production, storage and dispatch with an unprecedented efficiency and speed. Craftsman Automation has once again proven their expertise, innovative approach and technological prowess with their ASRS at this plant. Contact us for designing your Industry 4.0 growth story and join the manufacturing revolution with Craftsman Storage Systems.